me issues. It's kind of in relation to what we're talking about. Play this clip. I've been to- Main topic, folks, mommy issues. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Go ahead, Trev. Yeah, I mean, there was one. There was one thing that um, that he said that resonated a bit. It kind of goes back to what Casey was saying a little earlier about how men are not afforded the same grace as women at all. Like we give so many excuses for the women all the time, and we are forced to, as men, face our consequences no matter what. You can see it. We have to deal with it. There is no escape for us. We don't have the same access to social services. We don't have the same support systems. We don't have um, as many females to take us in. I understand you got like the dudes fresh out of jail that'll do that. But in general, men don't get the same type of support that women will always receive. Right. Um, And there's always going to be some army issues there. If we don't get the proper nourishment when we are young and we're not building that foundation, then we're screwed for life. So the question is, what is it that we can do to get better at this? Why is it that about 80% of us are raised in single parent households, mostly by single mothers? Why, Why are we not able to fix that? Why are we continuing to have children out of wedlock? And even if marriage is not your thing, you should understand that a dual parent household is actually going to afford you the best opportunity to have a better life. This is why people have these issues. You got mommy issues, you got daddy issues because somebody's not there. Somebody's always not there. What can we do to better that? Why why is it that we can't even have a solid relationship with each other? We don't ever want to build. We just want to go ahead and take them 20 minutes and then just leave that person alone. You created a life and look what you left behind. Nothing. You're not concerned about legacy. You're not concerned about family. None of that. And our culture is the worst at it. It's bad. What could we do to fix the situation? Nothing. No, we can do we can do something. Lady dies raising lady dies raising boys. I'm raising I'm gonna be raising a boy. I'm not sure if fantasy Alec, you have a girl or a boy. You have a boy or something. Um, so it's our responsibility to number one, step out of the doggone way when our husband is dealing with our sons. That's number one. Number two is to have compassion for our sons because the world is not going to have any compassion for them. Studies show how black boys are treated in classrooms and schools. They're ignored. They're they're labeled before any other child is of any other race or any other sex. They are literally the last on the totem pole. So what we can do is make sure the generation coming up that fathers are in the home. Number one, women as women and as wives, we're not challenging our husbands and partners to raise our son and not making a divide with um into behavior that a man will recognize in a young boy before a a wife would and make sure that we're protecting them and loving them and pouring into them because this world cares nothing about them those are the three things we can do the reason why the reason why i said nothing is because people are going to do what the hell they want to do and they don't see bringing a life into this world it's all that important they don't care they still gonna want what they want at the end of the day so if the person that they laid down with isn't hitting it right the same way that he used to she don't she don't brush her she 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 don't she ain't the same size that she once was she ain't this or he ain't that or i'm just not feeling this moment no more you're gonna leave that person because nobody values the relationship no more and it doesn't matter people gonna do what they want to do that's why we can't do shit about it because until people change their mindset on what bringing a child into this world actually means in regards to the other person, not the kid, the other person, because there's a whole other person on the other side of that conversation. There's a parent on the other side and we don't value the other parent. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. No, we don't value the father. 
We don't value the father. And everybody thinks when you talk to women, it's always my kid. And they discard the men all the time. They don't care about Thanks. discarding them. They don't care. And until women come down and really understand the fact that, hey, that nigga is important, it would never get fixed. Until I, they value. I think that mindset's I, reserved for the men that aren't being good fathers. And I'll just leave it there. I, I absolutely agree with everything Casey said, but let's take it back. Uh, there is currently an 18-year-old girl that's circulating in the media right now. And I did. I did a video on it because it was so triggering to me how on every blog that I saw that was reporting this story, there were so many women flooded in the comments with so much empathy. Even in the, the video that I made about it, um, there were so many women saying, well, she shouldn't have, um, she should still get grace because people's mind don't mature until they're 25. Or uh, she, you just can't say that, um, she didn't have access to resources, even dealing now with abortions. Um, she just probably felt like, you know, just it was a, a slew of excuses. It was a slew of excuses for her doing a murderous act. You went through with the pregnancy and then you consciously went somewhere and got rid of this live baby, you know, and the baby was just days old. Like you didn't exercise any of your options. 18 years old, but on the Good other parents. hand, well, hold on, wait, 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 wait. On I'm the sorry. other hand, what we are seeing is every single time that there is a man who is unaliving his children, unaliving his spouse or significant other, or we see a man who's walking away, this whole story about the man who got six baby mamas, there is no form of grace given for whatever that situation is. We heard it. And we immediately go to demonize, demonize, demonize. But in this situation, we didn't have the sexual sex. She to become a parent, oh decided that parenting was too hard after having I must to prepare for it. Then you sit there and you say, well, maybe, maybe she didn't have support. Or maybe she didn't have the options. Or maybe she didn't. And it's like, what are we doing here? Are we really actually giving the girls the best advice? Because I've seen so many women talk about how it should be okay for her to do only things if she wants to. Promiscuity is okay. It's, okay. It's, it's fine. And nothing's wrong with her. And then when there is some form of a situation that's an extreme, the first thing that we want to do is place trauma on them after encouraging traumatic situations, after enabling bad behavior and i find it so weird because the most destructive thing that a woman could do is have a baby to try and prove a point you had the baby because your but, body can do it you don't want it parents. You had, that's bad parents. 